Greetings everyone, this is Domingo0022 iWay with you today on the main channel. Yes, this is going to be something special on the main channel. This wallpaper has, is Tony Horton from P90X. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to use the new Sony Vegas Pro 12. It's one of the newest Vegas editors that you can get on the market today. And we're just going to give you a brief rundown of what it's about. Now, as you can see here, the interface and also the look appears to be the same but there's a lot of differences here and we'll go through them together so you have your project media tab explorer tab transition transitions tab video effects tab and media generators tab now these are all very basic and fundamental to your use of sony vegas so there's a lot of new features that we are going to look through here if we can so what we're going to do is we are just going to look at the preferences everything is generally the same when it comes to the preferences here so what we're going to do is we're just going to import sample footage and then what we're going to do I'm just going to import this video of myself here doing some green screen work and the difference that you see here are these little tabs so basically when you pull down on these tabs it's a lot easier to adjust your audio and video and what you can do is you can click on one area which is basically the audio meter and you can turn this down all the way down so that there's no sound and likewise the same here for no picture so these new tabs add a lot of ease of it because before Sony Vegas didn't have these tabs they just had the lines and you accidentally sometimes would have pressed on the line and it would have been back down like that and that would have made things really really difficult so now, the file that I'm using here is an MTS file. MTS files are usually high capacity files, but high quality files. And I use this on a JVC HD camcorder, and it's fully 1080p. So if you see any lagginess here, then that's one of the reasons why. So the transitions here are your basic transitions. You can also get third party transitions like Magic Bullet or New Blue Effects. And everything else here is the same as you can see here all of the transitions appear to be either stylized or newer additions to it but everything here just appears to be the same so what we're gonna do is we're going to see what kinds of differences there are let's say we want to add text so what you do here is you click on your timeline and then you right click on the timeline and then you click select, I should say, insert text media. Now, the user interface for the text meter has changed a bit. As you can see, it's more advanced and detailed, and you can also mount it onto your background there, and you can also unmount it. It's mount, unmount, mounted, unmounted. That's how it is. So, what you can do here is you can select your fonts let's say we'll select Times New Roman which is a standard font for any kind of video project and you can also minimize the window that you want you can resize it however you want and choose your color the color picker is a lot more advanced here so it doesn't necessarily it's more it's more or less the same it just has a different user interface and you can also animate it this is a new feature let's try action flip so what you can do is you can go to your start menu there and then or actually no we can go to our text here and then we can play back the effect so that is different that's an action flip and the other transitions that I see here are rolling glow and enlarge so let's play that again look at that as you can see here, the text just sort of enlarged itself there. So let's try Menace. We're going to play that back. So what Sony has included here is an integrated pro titler. And that allows for more animations and more effects, sort of like Earthquake here. We're going to show you Earthquake here. It shakes single letters and then stops. But you can also scale the text to however you want it. You can scale it to this or this big or small 
and all that stuff. So, and then you can also specify the location of the text by clicking on this little box here and specifying where it'll go. So if you want to make a really cool watermark, this is what you can do. And then in the advanced settings here, you can select the background. And then when you've selected your background, it'll allow you to click OK there. And the tracking, the tracking is basically how far the letters are from each other. The tracking you can smush together or span out. The line spacing is basically the lines, like paragraphs. So let's say we were to type in FG, FRGS, or let's go with frogs. And then you would adjust the line spacing. It would adjust it like that. You can smush them together or separate them to however that much. So you can make some really cool text transitions there for really awesome titles. And then for the outline, you can also add an outline to your text, and you can also change the color of the outline to, let's say, red or purple, and then you can make the outline as thick as you want. So it's more or less the same, except they have the animation function with the prototype titler. So if you're a power user of Sony Vegas, then this is generally very, very easy to understand. And also it has the presets, so you can use the presets however you want, set however color you want, and so forth. So we're going to delete this, and then what we can do is the Explorer has a new updated interface where you can go through your folders and look through your videos, and then you can drag and drop there instead of using the import button. That's, a, that's the same feature that all Sony Vegas had. And one of the newest functions that you can use is upload to YouTube. So, what it usually does is that it brings up a YouTube window. And then you can enter your YouTube username and password, your title, your description, video category. This only works if you have just a password and everything. If you've enabled two-step verification, it would ask you for your application-specific password. And you would look that up on your Google accounts. So let's say I want to just upload it through my response channel. So I go to D D22 responses, and then I enter my password, and then the title, test video. Then you enter your description, where it's like, check me out, subscribe, that sort of thing. And then you would select the video category, gaming, or how to in style, like what this is, and then tags, how to use Sony... Vegas Pro. And that's what you do. You would set the broadcast options to public, normal, render, region loop, and only, and then it would give you an estimated upload size after that. And then after that, you would just normally click upload, and then it verifies your account, and then it'll start the whole process. It'll render the video, and then it'll upload the video. So you can set the render quality to higher if you want a higher quality video. So that's an easier feature. Or you could just render the video and then upload it to YouTube by just finding the folder or finding the video in your folder. So that's one of the other features that they have in the new Sony Vegas. And the render feature. Let's go to render as. What usually happens here is that it'll give you more of a different format of output. So WMV I don't see in here because it may be hidden or it may not be available as an option anymore because video from Windows, it usually has video from Windows WMV, but it has AVI here. And you can also set it to MP4, MPEG, M2V, M2T, all these sorts of different formats. These are all audio formats and video formats. And you would just click on Match Project Settings to match your settings. So then let's just unclick that for a second. Now it has the WMV function. Because if you click Match Project Settings, what will be available according to your video file type is the best for the render. So let's say I wanted to render Sony AVC slash MVC. I would click the drop down arrow and then I would select the wide range of formats that I have here. But since I already have a format of 1080p to YouTube, this is already predetermined so I didn't have to customize it, which is very good. So if you want to render a full 1080p video, that's what you can do. But 
I didn't show you how to set your settings for 1080p. So what you do here is you go to Project Video Properties, and then you select a template of either 720p, 1080p, whatever you have here. But the standard is the standard 1080p, because that's what YouTube will take up to nowadays. And you can set the width, the height, field order. You can leave all of this. The pixel format stays the same. You can either go 8-bit or 32-bit floating point. And then the pre-rendered files folder is already set here. You can also click Start All New Projects with these settings. And then what you can do is you can click Cancel to Save or OK to Save. Or Cancel to Cancel the Changes, or you can click OK to Save. The buttons are still the same. This goes to New Empty Project, Open, Save, Save As, Render As, Properties, which is the same thing. Cut, Copy, Paste, the Undo button, where you can undo more than a few actions here. So we can undo all 28 actions, which means that we can redo everything as well. So that's really cool if you want to track down what has been done. So the undo and redo functions have these drop down arrows. And then there's the snapping, automatic crossfades, auto ripple, lock envelopes to events, ignore event grouping, the normal edit tool. The normal edit tool is what we're using right now. Another one is the envelope edit tool. And the selection tool and the zoom edit tool. So it allows you to select the zoom on things. But you can also zoom the track height by clicking down here to stretch it out like this. And likewise with this. And as normal, you can do your cutting and you can do your editing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to cut a video. So let's say that you've reached a certain part and then you want to cut it out. You press the S key to split the video and then you can drag your mouse or you can drag the clip to move it anywhere you want. Let's say if you want to do jump cuts. So you can go here, split here, then say a scene here, then go here, then go here, then go here. And you can have it split to however you want. So that's one of the most useful things that you can do when it comes to jump cutting. And you can also find the points at where you say something and then it pauses out at the end or you blank out at the end and then you can cut it out there. So that's one unique way of doing it. And you can also... Uh, do the same thing here by slowing or speeding up a video like this. Let's just go quarter here. Yeah, you can speed up the video like this. Or you can slow it down by clicking and holding, by holding the control key and clicking right to slow down dragging the video right to slow down or dragging the video to the left to speed it up. Here is it, here it is slower. It's generally the same thing. So that's one of the ways that we can slow down the video and speed it up. And you can trim it to however you want. This is another way of trimming videos. You can trim it down to a certain size and then it'll line up with the point here. This is what's called your timing point. And you can speed it up or place it anywhere you want. The video effects tab generally has all of your standard default effects in it. So you can just play around with it. Now the media generators. This is one thing that has been always there. And there's always going to be a preset here. All the presets are here if you want to add some things. There's also the legacy, meaning that this was from Sony Vegas's previously, so everything's all here still, so it's really cool. And then you can do titles, and it gives you a preview of the titles, and then you can place it in there, so it's it's really neat. You can go titles and text, slide left, speedy, twist in, rough day, that sort of thing. And you can use the ProType Titler. <coughs> and it's all in their own specific categories. 
So that generally is how you do it, and if you want to preview the media, you can just go click the play button up here to play it back. It'll play back on here instead of playing back on your timeline, and then you can stop it at any time. And then you can do the same thing with your text. It goes auto preview for everything there. You can also click auto preview for that. And then you can organize it from a list to details to just the icons. And you can also search the media bins for whatever files you may be missing. And you can extract audio from CD. You can get media from the internet, which connects you to a site. But we won't do that right now. And so forth. So everything here seems very standard. And you can also get additional plugins like the New Blue Pro Effects or the Magic Bullet Effects, Magic Bullet Suite, that's another good one. And if you want to try this, you can download this software as a free trial in the description below. And that's generally how Sony Vegas is used. It's generally cut and dry on how you edit. And this tutorial is more of a rephrasal of, it's not a rephrasal actually, this tutorial is basically an introduction to Sony Vegas 12 and some new features. You can also output to Blu-ray, you can also edit in 3D, and you can also do a lot with this. And it's basically up to you how you use it, and you can just play with it. Now, if you want a more brief tutorial on how Sony Vegas is used, you click on the link here, and it'll take you to a more in-depth Sony Vegas tutorial. That is where the real editing tutorials begin. This is generally just a brief outline of what everything looks like in the new Sony Vegas Pro 12. You can get this in 32-bit or 64-bit. It's all up to you. And even though I didn't explain all of this in this video, my next video that is in this annotation will take you to where you can really know how to use Sony Vegas and become a power user. So until then, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Leave a thumbs up or a comment below. Share this with your friends if they want to learn more about the new Sony Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. Get Field for Life. Go Team My Way, and we'll see you next time. Take care.